Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of React.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and hit like to this video. Today we are going to implement the add dynamic rows in React.js. You can see that multiple rows we are able to add in React.js. So let's start how we are going to do it. So you can see that when I try to add this mobile number or something, you can see that object wanna be like an email and the mobile. If you go to this one, if I'm going to add this one email and the mobile, so you can see that two arrays are there with the data. So you can directly send it to the form and uh, send to the backend and uh, backend would, would like to save that data according to your requirements, right? So how to do such kind of things? You can also see that if it is three, four, six, three, seven, four, seven, you can directly remove this one part, right? And you can go and check this part also. So that uh, that field is also removed from this section, right? So we are going to implement such kind of things in React Chairs. So So let's begin. Or how we are going to implement it so let's see so here we go with the code so here we go with that one right so here we have a react react dome then we have a app right uh, initialize the state that is first by default it's empty right this is the methods that we are using handle change handle change email right then handle add row so basically it add the rows with email and the phone number you can add multiple email phone address or uh, you can say salvation something you can add phone uh, phone extension something you can add right you can just extend it and set the default state with their items right so that it will create the empty this one okay you can see that it's by default it's empty that email and the mobile is empty so just because of this one because we are setting in the state in uh, cloning the previous state and uh, bind this uh, item into that state right when i click on the add uh, handle add row you can see that when i click on this one part right you can handle add row this function will trigger right it will add it will create an input field with email and the mobile right so where here we are just adding we are just mapping the state with the rows map and here with the table okay where we have a email where we have mobile right and then we have a remove section right so whenever i click on this one this whole object because it's in the loop part so it will add the whole part right okay so this is the first step second one when I, when i try to click on the handle change button when i type something so we have to set that is that it also in that state so we are just cloning that uh, previous state and just bypass our new uh, new values over it okay so this is the main funder that we are trying to use so basically what we are doing we are cloning the full state whatever in the previous state right then we are picking up the index so uh, whenever i try to click on the add button so new index is created right so on which index we are going to add this value so it's gonna be like index then we're cloning the previous index then we are adding our values into it right okay you can see that right so you can also see that the whole values where we, what we have putting over here and uh, what we are going to put it over here you can see that right and you can see that all the states all the values are set into that right because we, we need this one and if you want to remove this one you can also remove this one it is in the next state it is removed right so you can send it and save the data accordingly so any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section i will help you on that okay so if you want like nested uh, add rows like uh, if it is the main part right uh, suppose uh, like uh, there is the uh, like you can say there is a contact info in the contact info you uh, like it's it, if it is mobile number then you want to append their uh, sub menu sub uh, child sub children into that one and remove the such uh, sub child okay so if you want such kind of functionality in the react js you can directly uh, ping me on or comment me on my this this video i will upload that video also i i know how to implement the nested one also so i will help you on that also okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day